You can sip this in vodka and then you get what? vanilla. Look what I found. We could do the magic of television. It's now one week later. <laughs> we should not have another one. No, not on camera anyway. Hi guys, I'm Marion. And I'm Sylvia. And today we are doing the sweet stuff. I am making a classic tiramisu. Creamy, delicious, Moorish and coffee spiked. And I'm doing that very magical thing, a deep fried ice cream. Mm. Beautiful and crispy and coconutty on the outside and melty soft ice cream on the inside. Well, let's get going because I'm super keen to start eating this. So I'm just using a regular store-bought cake. You know, actually store-bought for this is what you want because it's denser and it's a little bit more stale than okay. a fresh cake. So that's what you want. And then I'm just going to roll it out a little bit flatter as well. This is going to be the outside that's of the our... The coating. The coating, the sort of outside of our cake. Right, so I flatten those out a little bit and I'm going to run off and grab my ice cream. Now, you want to keep your ice cream in the freezer until just the last second. So Perfect. two seconds. Okay, so I made these ice cream scoops yesterday and it's important to keep the ice cream really hard and firm before you start cooking. So I'm just going to put my ice cream straight into my little piece of cake here. Ah, and scrunch and it up. Just scrunch it up and then just wrap that up and you really want to make this tight. So just okay. twist until you get a little ball. Oh, my kids are going to pester me to make this now. <laughs> well, I used to pester my mum, honestly. All right, okay. Like, with the bright ice cream! No, if it makes for good childhood memories, I'm all in favour of it. <laughs> and this needs to go back in the freezer now for at least four or five hours or overnight. Okay. So while your ice cream is setting, shall I get started with the tiramisu? Yes, please. All right. Tiramisu is a classic Italian dessert and I, don't, I haven't met anyone who doesn't love it with a passion. The main ingredient for tiramisu is mascarpone, which is a very rich, indulgent Italian cream cheese, I would say. Look at it. So it's very very important to, to use mascarpone for tiramisu. If you use anything else, then it's not tiramisu. First thing, we are going to separate some eggs. So I'm going to pop the white into a very clean bowl and hopefully I can do a neat job. Now the one trick to make your whites whip perfectly is to add a little pinch of salt. And we don't even have one of the standing mixers. So what, you know what we do have? Muscle power. Well, you have muscle power. <laughs> you go to CrossFit and I don't really have much muscle power. Now, it would also be very handy if we had two normal-sized whisks, but we don't. So I'm going to give you the, the baby oh, one because the whites are harder to whip. That's nice. So basically, at this point, you want to add a little bit of sugar to the yolks. Okay. Not much. You want the yolks to become pale and fluffy. And with the whites, you want soft but firm picks. Let's see how long it takes us. <laughs> Come on! Oh, look at those muscles go! <laughs> Starting to foam up, which is a really good sign. Does your arm need a break? Do you want to give me... Should we... Oh, we can just swap this. Yes. Swapping? Now that uh, we've got softish peaks forming, I'm going to add a little bit of sugar to the whites. Mm -hmm. Just about that. And this is uh, super fine pasta sugar, which will dissolve very quickly into the whites. Okay, you know what? I'm going to steal your whisk now. Are these okay? That's perfect. Okay, That's good. really... I only need like 15 seconds of this. Now we're going to flavour this beautiful egg yolk mixture with some vanilla. And this is a vanilla bean that I'm going to split and scrape. Otherwise, you can use vanilla paste if you can't find this. Now the seeds go in there. Let's mix this in and you'll see very shortly... I love this that the vanilla will turn the egg yolk into a beautiful freckly situation. So I'm just going to add a little bit at a time and just be mindful. I want to keep it quite thick because then we add the egg whites to soften it and loosen it and make it nice and lighter in texture, not in calories. I'm just going to add it all now. It's almost completely incorporated into the eggs. At this point, I can gently finish it off with the whisk just to make sure it's lump free. I'll lick the Thank spoon after. You. Now I'm gonna fold in the whites. Now the first bit, I'm just gonna whip it in there like a minute because I'm gonna use this first uh, couple of tablespoons to loosen the mixture. And now that it's a bit looser, the folding of the remaining perfectly whipped egg whites. All right, well, the cream is done. 
Awesome, so why don't I finish rolling up my little uh, fried ice cream. Sounds and great. And then we can get going. Okie dokie. Okay, so this is the final crumbing coating for our fried ice cream. And I just want some What have you got egg. in here? So this is some desiccated coconut. So you really want the really fine, dry, desiccated coconut. Oh, okay. Um, that's gonna give us a really lovely perfume um, without being too chunky. Just unwrap this and the cake has gone quite firm okay. so that's good we've got a nice coating there for the ice cream just roll it around in the egg a little bit and then into coconut make sure we get a nice you know fine this is going to be amazing i mean you've got coconut you've got cake you've got ice cream and then it's deep fried it's joyous it really <laughs> is joyous this is the most important freezing time. You really need to give these now at least eight hours or an overnight in the freezer. Make sure everything is really nice and cold. So Sylvia, as if deep frying some ice cream and cake for you wasn't enough, I'm gonna make you a salted coconut caramel as well. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to impress. So I'm going to start with a little bit of brown sugar. This is really easy. And a little bit of butter. And I want to get this all melty in there. And the thing to look out for with coconut cream, especially when you're using it for a dessert, is that the best coconut cream you should be able to eat straight out of the can. Ooh. All right, so I'm going to pour this in. This might get a little bit crazy. Oh, crazy. Good crazy, though. Because the cake and the ice cream is so sweet, I really want I look this to be, you know, salt, but that little sort of, ooh, you know, making everything sing in your mouth. And so that's sort of what we're looking for. This will thicken up as it cools a little bit, but look at that dark, oh. lovely. <laughs> Happily. Ah. Oh, this is next level. Oh, and the salt. And the salt. Okay, we have got all our elements ready now to assemble the tiramisu. We've got our mascarpone base. We need the coffee. Now, we like to use Savoyardi biscuits for tiramisu. The reason being that they really absorb the coffee so, so well. Dunk really well. A few times in and then drip the excess and just pop it onto... This looks easy enough for me to have onto a go. the dish. Yeah, yeah, please. This is not strictly traditional, but tiramisu's got a coating of cocoa at the end. I think a little bit of chocolate is not gonna hurt it, and it's not gonna alter the, the flavor profile either. Right. I'm okay with it. Yeah, you, can you live with that? I can live with that. Okay, so at this point, half of your mascarpone mixture goes in, and just spread it over the coffee-soaked savoyardi, and ready for layer number two. Dip. Drip position. Another sprinkling of dark chocolate. One thing I like to do though is um, use the back of a spoon to create a little ripple. If you leave it in the fridge overnight, it's always better to make this one day ahead. And there we go. You're back. This is the one okay. that's already had its beauty sleep. So I only had to wait a couple of minutes. Not exactly. <laughs> what we're going to do now is just dust it with cocoa powder. Tap, tap. That's it. No. <laughs> a little bit of chopped chocolate. A work of art. All right, so I've got my little ice cream guys here that have been in the freezer, so they're nice and firm. So I'm going to put that on here. Now these need to be eaten straight away. I'm okay with that. Our beautiful little caramel goes on top. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so we just want to get in there and, and get a bit of everything. Get a bit of everything. A bit more caramel. I need more caramel. Mm. I'm ready for this. I need this in my life, Sylvia. Oh, make you'll it, have it. Make it happen. It's so soft. I feel like all my life I've been eating bad tiramisu. <laughs> Not anymore. Like put all the tiramisu to shame. <laughs> 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 Next recipe.